Hello, I'm Sister Joanne Iannotti, and I'm Art and Spirituality Coordinator here at Wisdom House Retreat and Conference Center in Litchfield. And today I have with me Sandra Lopez Isnardi, who is the photographer who has a wonderful exhibit entitled Simply Landscapes, Pixels and Prints. That exhibit is in our MLT, our Marie Louise Triche Art Gallery. And as Sandra is with us today, I thought we'd have the opportunity to ask her to share with us what is behind the exhibit that we have in our gallery? Wonderful landscapes, wonderful views, uh, giving us an art that is probably one of the youngest arts that we have, that of photography. You know, when a photographer looks through the lens, many things happen. Many things happen on many levels. So, Sandy, uh, can I ask you first, um, what is your experience when you first look through your lens? I think it's, it really feels a little magical to me. It's this, it's this box that's created by the viewfinder that really allows you to choose a very selective focus and area. It really is, that somewhere I read recently, it's a way of organizing the chaos, what looks chaotic around you. There were so many things to look at. Mm -hmm. the, the lens to me, the, the, the viewfinder lens, all of a sudden allows me to add order to that. And I think I've always kind of sensed with photography that set with that ability to look at something so oh, look there there is that perfect sense of perfect balance mm. and it, it's always kind of moved me that way. That's great. Well we're going to have an opportunity in the remainder of this video to hear Sandra talk about individual pictures. Um, how they came to be created, what was going on inside of her, as well as what she was be able to create in terms of capturing that moment for us to see. I think my work does reflect Catholic culture um, and my upbringing I, in that, within that culture uh, and how women stand within um, Catholicism, the divine feminine, the label of this print clear, is clearly about that. Um, this is one of my favorite images because uh, it was after a wedding and the symbols were just so perfectly there. I don't arrange anything in my photographs. It's really sacred to me not to touch what's going on. I like to be at the scenes. Like It's the old idea that life is a stage and you happen to be this person watching this play and in this case the young boy standing there with that with a little cowboy hat, the mag wheels behind them, and the girl so beautifully dressed, you know, with a little um, the bouquet that she has there. It's almost like he saw her for the first time as something other than the little girl he played with. And uh, I wanted to capture that moment. This image of the patriarch for me, with the little girl who's having two women running, and this looks like a man's face. Um, it was just it reminds me a little bit of how I feel within the context of, of Catholicism. Um, again, the, you know, it was a very gray day, so of course it's hard technically to pull off the kind of contrast you saw in the, in the earlier print of Divine Feminine, but the grayness of it um, still works well for me because of the sandstone here. This is in California in Half Moon Bay. By the time I got to uh, digital, which really was this year, this was, was a very hard decision for me to sell my Mamaya. I had the Mamaya RB67. I sold all that equipment. It was, uh, it sounds easy, but it was really quite a scary thing to do. And uh, I went with the Canon uh, EOS 5D and started shooting digitally. This is a little different, of course, than what you saw with the silver prints. The digital prints, you know, part of me just um, wanted to get out of the academic mode. I just wanted to shoot what moved me. Um, and what moved me were beautiful landscapes. Um, beauty is important to me in aesthetics. It's very non-postmodern. <laughs> when I photograph things like this, it is a moment in time that requires you to be in the landscape. So it becomes very countercultural for me. Uh, our culture is not about sitting still. Our culture is about moving at this intense speed. And I think it becomes very chaotic, and in my mind it does anyway. So these times of just stopping, waiting, for nature to present herself in her glory. They're not digitally altered, so that I did not insert the birds in there. They were really there. Uh, what I do in Photoshop is more related to what I do in the darkroom with color photography, which would be color correction, 
adding contrast, uh, and those kinds of things. But here, this image, like some of the ones that you saw earlier, does have that mystical quality because of the light, because of the birds, because of the symbols. So symbolism is still quite important to me in images. Uh, these are probably not quite as decisive moment as the earlier traditional silver prints you saw. Uh, they really are about just a moment in time. So perhaps time is being used here in a very different sense. Um, light is very important to me in photography, and I think it's obvious that texture is also something I enjoy. Um, what is different for me here is the color, you know. A color earlier for me was an added dimension that made the image more real and less abstract. But for some reason with digital, because of how I can zone, zoom in on a color when I'm in Photoshop, I can say, oh, I remember seeing this more red, and I can add that. Um, so, you know, but I, and you can do that in the dark room too, technically. But I love now the idea that I can uh, really see, uh, they're about color and light uh, more than the other ones. The other ones, and time, in reference to the fact that I'm there and waiting. The other ones are really about capturing a moment with people, which is a little harder, I think, than with landscape. These images are definitely about time and space. Um, a moment, it's, it's a moment of prayer, you know. You, you, Things quiet down, you're there, and it's like a little trophy of a, a moment of prayer that reminds me when I go back into my <laughs> everyday world. Oh, okay, yeah, there's, a, there's that quiet moment. And I hope it does that for people. That's, that's my goal, is that uh, in our world today, I just don't think people really take the time. So I hope that these images at least help, although it's better if they can go out to the landscape and kind of experience it themselves. Traditional color photography that uses film and paper didn't have quite the variety of papers uh, for color that uh, traditional silver prints do. Uh, but they do have a little bit more texture to them than perhaps the uh, Epson papers and the Ilford Gallery papers that I'm using here. But that's changing quite rapidly. Meanwhile, though, while that's changing, I think the platinum print that you see here in front of you uh, helps me bridge the traditional with the digital. Uh, they're made with digital negatives. This is the photograph was actually shot with a Mamaya RB67, obviously before I sold it, and the negative was scanned in at very high resolution, and a platinum print was made using curves in Photoshop that would accept um, or have enough density, I should say, to create the print on paper. Now these are done with uh, various papers. Some of them are cranes, some of them are arches paper, and some of it is burger paper playing with that, but it's a nice crossover between what I did with silver prints and with digital prints, and to me this kind of bridges those two types of photography. These originally were meant to be silver prints, but I thought the subjects really lended themselves well to, uh, to these um, platinum, actually the platinum palladium prints. Yeah, the tonal issue is really important to me here, like it was in the silver prints. A tone is important in color, but it, it takes on a different dimension. It's, the picture becomes more about color than tone. These go back to becoming about tone. That's an interesting journey. I think you're all, we're all feeling effects of digital versus traditional photography. The focus of your uh, exhibit is that of landscape. Why did you choose that as a topic? Well, uh, it's interesting. When I was, when I was young, uh, we drove and moved around a lot, and my mother would always be in the car and say, Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful this is. And out came that Super 8 camera. <laughs> and you know how kids are. It's like, Oh, what, Ma, you know? And I looked and I said, Oh, that is pretty. <laughs> and I really think that the reason I choose landscapes is my mother is so insistently in the car mm -hmm. would, be, would be pointing it out to us. And so I just, uh, we yeah. have so many Super 8s of landscapes, I can't tell <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural part of you. It's a natural part of you. It is. And also what you probably then became sensitive to. Yeah. When yeah. Later on. And she always, you know, to her, with the way she described in the car, it always felt like for her it was a prayer. And I think that's where that came from, that mm. idea of landscaping a prayer.